Good day, good day. Welcome back. Minecraft Guide Episode 136. Welcome back. So right here at the start, we're getting a brand new view. I haven't seen this yet. Uh, cow Sphinx. Crazy Cow Sphinx. How are you looking from up here? <laughs> uh, not, you're not looking. No, no. I figured. I wanted to check that one out on camera because you never know. In today's episode, we're going to need a lot of iron. In fact, now that I need to look at it, we might even need more iron than we actually have. Yikes. In today's video, we'll be making some much needed advancements to the food situation. Remember to please like, subscribe if you're new, and if you want to look fresh, check out the merch below the video. Yikes, I didn't think about that iron situation. Uh, so today we're going to make a couple different cow crushers. Everything really starts with this cow farm. If you want to be able to do anything, uh, then you're going to need better food. Better food? Cow crusher. If you want an enchanting room inside of your tower at Grim, so you can get better tools, uh, then you're gonna need bookshelves. And if you want bookshelves, you're gonna need leather and paper. Paper, sugarcane, easy. Leather, though, that's gonna be a cow crusher. In the last episode, we built nothing short of a work of art. Crazy cow sphinx. That beauty right there. Today, we're gonna fill it with cow crushers. So technically speaking, in a world, you could actually just set up one cow crusher and you'll probably be more than good. But you see, I want to be like more than more than good, like really, really good. So instead of one cow crusher, we're gonna see how many we can fit inside of this build. The nice thing about these cow farms is the fact that they're insanely compact. So uh, let's see, there are a couple different setups we could do here. We could do them all in a line on the back. We could probably fit like four, maybe five in to be honest. Uh, or we could do like, one set off to the side, one set off to the side, and then we could do a line again. Like, that would be even more. That would be really, really good. Uh, we could just kind of put them all over the place. Like, we could put different cow crushers in every leg. That would be four in there. You could actually line, like, three in there. Uh, that would be good. That would probably be most efficient, actually. You know what? I like that idea. I like the sounds of that idea a lot, actually. This sounds like it could be good. So, we could start the cow crusher right against this wall, but it's, like, really short in here. I don't know if I like that. So, instead of doing that, let's just move it out one block and see how many we can fit in here. That's gonna be one right there. Then we could actually probably just share this wall, so that's gonna be two right there. And we would probably do it again. And that's gonna be three. That's, like, perfect. I mean, it's a little bit of extra space, which is a little weird. Put three cow crushers right there that we do to get over here. Three more in there. Oh, that's going to be good. And then we can do even more up here. So that's six so far. We can do seven and eight. Uh, definitely fit one in each corner here. But you know what? Honestly, honestly, I mean, six cow crushers in, in total. I mean, that's going to be crazy. You know what? I think we only need the six. I don't think we even need those. Maybe we could do like a cow pen up here and just have extra cows wandering around. Aha. Uh -huh. That's an idea. That's an idea. I don't know if I like it, but it's an idea for sure. Okay, so that was pretty easy to figure out. Six cow crushers, put them inside of the back feet. I think it'll end up looking pretty good. I don't think we really want to build them out of deep slate. There's a lot of deep slate in this build already. But yeah, six cow crushers in total. That's gonna be a lot of food really fast. Oh yeah, you know what? By the way, I'm gonna take one of these teeth out uh, just for now. I'll put it back uh, by the end of the episode. But while we're working over here, I'm gonna try and grow more pointed dripstone. Grow, please, please grow fast. I need at least one, then I can put the tooth back. Uh, just, just please, actually grow today, please. So if you've never set up a cow crusher before, you're gonna need a couple things. The supplies are honestly pretty cheap. Uh, you could definitely build this thing really, really early in your world. Of course, first you're gonna need cows. You'll need at least two cows to get a single crusher started. Uh, we're gonna have six crushers total, so we're gonna need 12 cows. You're also gonna need building blocks. I can't decide what building blocks I wanna use. Maybe we do like spruce, but I was thinking about spruce on the floor. Um, should I? Hmm, maybe. Whatever you go with, you're going to need seven building blocks and one staircase. You're also going to need a hopper and a fence. And the last but not least, you will also need a chest. So, uh, the hoppers. Back to those things. Uh, usually, for a cow crusher, you would need one. Uh, but we're going to have a bunch of cow crushers, so we're going to need at least three uh, per side. Uh, so there's going to be six total to start. Six total to start, but today we're going to string all of them together, too. So I think we're going to end up needing, like... 12 or so hoppers, maybe 10. Oh, that's painful. Well, I mean, actually, it's not that bad. This could be a good opportunity to go back down into the mines and branch mine a little bit, maybe find some more diamonds. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. It's not that bad. Okay, so before we do anything inside of the build, uh, what I want to do here is, I think, completely tear out the floor and start thinking about that. We're going to position the cow crushers in the back corners uh, right here. I think exactly like this, actually, with the blocks there, so we'll dig out in there. But first, I want to do the floor. By the end of the episode, the entire Crazy Cow Sphinx needs to be fully finished. Uh, that means the inside, the outside. Now, good news, the outside is already mostly done. Just have to add a path, but the inside, uh, it's a literal shell right now. And I feel like we always, uh, at the end of the episode, just do a bunch of building. So instead of the end of the episode, we do it at the beginning. So I just said it, and it was kind of just a random idea. But yeah, I'm actually really, really considering the idea of just putting extra cow pen up front. 
I think that's a really good idea. So maybe that's what we'll do. We'll leave all of the floor up there grass. We'll have to change all of that. That's really weird looking. But yeah, actually, I like the idea of cows just living in here. But you know what, actually, let's do this. Uh, let's make the floor a little bit more interesting. Uh, leaving it plain would work. But what if we do that? Like, that's pretty sweet looking. So the floor in here is going to be pretty straightforward. I was thinking spruce and then like strip spruce logs on the floor for extra detail. Just kind of like mixed in here randomly. Uh, some of them face up, some of them face sideways like that. Some of them face the other sideways like, like that one right there. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty simple floor. I think I'm going to leave those ones alone. I like a harsh border right there. And then yeah, just spruce slabs and spruce planks filled in pretty much everywhere else. It's going to be a pretty simple floor, but I think it's going to fit this whole like cow aesthetic. And spruce wood goes really, really well with grimstone. Like, look at this combination. I mean, name a better duo uh okay never mind i could actually name like a bunch of those off the top of my head but it is a good combo stripped logs are like the best thing ever i can't even remember what it was like before the strip logs like how do we even exist and survive like they're amazing like any floor instantly levels up like 20 times when you use stripped logs on the floor like look at this my favorite floor combination maybe one of them it's so good it's so simple but it's like literally perfect and the floor gets like way more interesting i love them so much actually like like you don't even know so here we go the floor uh, it's in now it's pretty basic and flat maybe we'll add more to it i could see like a water trough in the middle that could be cool but yeah uh the floor is in it's flat it's good now i think it's time to start talking about these cow crushers cow crushers are amazing like so good i love these things i think stringing a couple of these things together is only going to make this thing even more better it's going to be literally unstoppable so uh we actually have a couple cow crushers in this world already but we'll run through it again we have a chest then we'll hop it right there then we're going to do building blocks around this thing however this time i'm going to string a couple cow crushers together so we're going to take that out and i think literally just do a row of hoppers so uh like all connecting i want all of the drops to go over into this front chest i think that's going to be the best way to do it then we're going to do building block right there another one there another one there another one there and another one there uh, uh, then actually you know what because there's no chest we could use solid blocks there and then we do a staircase right here because we still do have a chest right there uh then i figure out like a better way to see it uh maybe take that block out or something and there we go Mm hmm yeah yeah that's gonna be how that goes so then what we're gonna do is build this up a little bit more like that i'll fill in the floor with something probably just more of that and there we go that's literally basically it put water in there water in the other ones we're gonna put a fence or a wall above it but first, we need cows inside of this thing. So, the cows. We're going to move the cows over into this building. Uh, for now, what I'm going to do, I, I don't know if I can keep it like this. We're going to do deep slate tiles right there, and then we're going to put a fence gate in the middle. Fence gate in the middle, it all connects. It's perfect. Cows are going to go inside of there. Yeah, I still have to harvest this thing, by the way. Uh, going to have to harvest that, but look at this. Two harvests, and I have that much wheat. It's kind of crazy cows so cows eh, not this sheep cows only so we need two cows from here i want to leave two inside of this pen uh let's see maybe we could do that like that baby cow only or a, or a grown-up cow it doesn't matter just two cows cows only yes one good and two and two we have a grown-up cow and a baby cow i i think yes yes we do right this way perfect you listen amazing the first time you're the founders of this farm i will never put you inside of a cow crusher that would be cruel i could never do that to you ever you're essentially royalty you are the founders of this farm you will get to live a good life inside of the pen inside of the farm building right this way ignore the food uh-huh perfect this way where the road will be uh this way hey that grew already oh that's insane it did not go that quick last episode yeah i'm a little salty about that one that's amazing i'm gonna have to move that over in a second but right this way anyways come come with me this way your new palace your new glorious home what do you think of it i hope you like it come inside of this pen uh-huh uh-huh perfect okay so now it's a waiting game we're gonna have to wait for these cows to grow up or that one to grow up then i'm gonna breed them and breed them and breed them and we're gonna keep doing that and then as i do that we're gonna be able to take the cows from that area and move them over here to the crushers this needs to be redesigned though a uh, big time dig that out right there uh the hopper's gonna be visible so that's a little bit of a bummer but we could fill in blocks all the way around it so we can't see any dirt dirt doesn't look very good fill all that all the way including this block and this block right there that should be pretty good from up here and then finally double chest right there then i could open the chest easily i could actually probably just put the floor block back right there um maybe we do like a staircase right there and then i can see the chest easy as that so staircase right there steps down into the chest it's perfect it's literally perfect all of the cow drops from every single cow crusher will be moved over into this chest right there so i think i needed one two three four five hoppers for this whole thing i have one so i'm gonna need four more hoppers we're gonna be left with 34 iron though that's amazing we could even make a piece of armor i lost all my armor last episode i wanted to save it too also i had a couple comments about this a while ago completely forgot about it like over and over again but maybe honestly trap doors on this thing that would look good or 
my favorite, signs. We put signs on here. We can see the hoppers a little bit. I think the hoppers look pretty cool. And then we have the signs like cutting right across like that, like kind of connecting it all. It looks finished. So on the other side, we're gonna do the exact same setup. I think the setup worked really well. I like the staircase idea right there, so we'll do that again. But this time, uh, we can actually get the hopper placement a little bit more efficient. So the hopper goes right into that chest, and then same with that one right there. Then all of these hoppers are gonna funnel into there. So all of the drops will go over to this hopper and then move over. Or if they're at this hopper, they'll just move straight into. I mean, realistically, it's not that big of a deal. It's just gonna be me in here, and I'm gonna go one by one by one on each breeder. So uh, it's not really gonna get overflowed. But set up like this, this one should clog less. Smooth stone blocks. They look so machiney. They look so good. But why isn't there a stair version? Like, why do I have to use normal stone stairs here? Uh, there definitely should be smooth stone stairs. I mean, there's a smooth stone slab, so... What's up with that? <laughs> now, looking at this part of the build, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I have no clue. I mean, I could polish it up by filling that in with, like, deep slate a little bit more. Uh, same with over there. Polish it up. I mean, that would be a good spot for a balcony, though. So the other side is going to finish up exactly the same, or basically finish up. Uh, even more blocks in there, and then I'm going to fill everything in with water uh, on the bottom block again. Technically, you can put your water inside of a dispenser, have it dispense when you're using it. That's what I used to do, but this is so much easier. doesn't really make a difference anyways. If it makes it cheaper, plain and simple, it's big brain. Cutting costs, same efficiency, it's a no-brainer. So there we go. Floor is completely finished. It definitely needs something in the middle for sure. Cow Crusher 1 through 3, Cow Crusher 4 through 6. I mean, I know it's not that important, right? Like, it's the back of the build, and it's the cows over here, after all. But what about a window? What about a 3x3 three three window over here? And what about a window over there? Also, the ceiling. So, last episode, I came in here and did a little bit of variation in here uh, with normal deep slate, but I didn't do the ceiling. That was intentional. I think there should be a skylight in the ceiling, too. But, if we're going to do a skylight up there, we have to do it right. So, uh, I think what I'm going to do... Start with deep slate tile stairs. It's a pretty small ceiling, right? Like, it's three blocks apart. Uh, what I'm imagining is a row of glass in the middle. Solid glass blocks. To make it look more interesting, deep slate tile stairs like that. Then we have the glass block in the middle. And then on the other side, we do the same exact thing. So there's going to be like a little bit of depth in there. Uh, like that part is cut in and it's going to wrap all the way around the glass. I think it's going to make it look really cool. And look at this. The skylights are amazing. The build instantly transforms. It's not dark and gloomy in there anymore. This is going to change the look of the Sphinx from the side and the back of the thing. But nobody looks at the Sphinx from the back. And the side, I mean, you don't look at it from the side very much either. If I wanted to, I could actually come in here with staircases um, to kind of like cover the deep slate tiles. But honestly, I don't think it's a problem. I don't think we have to. So listen, buddy. Last episode, it was Dripstone. Had to wait forever. Now it's going to be you? No, 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 no. We're not going to do that like that. You're going to grow up. Please, just, just grow up. Get old. Okay, so from the inside, we end up with a ceiling that looks like that. It really stands out a lot, but I think that's fine. And actually, from the outside, I think that line of deep slate tiles on the roof... Adds a little bit of detail. You can't see it that much anyways. I think that looks nice. Listen, the cows are going to eat hay, okay? It's going to make it look better. That's their food bin. So I'm taking a look at the shape here, uh, trying to see what I can come up with and make it a little bit more interesting. I'm thinking maybe I could cut the ceiling in down here so it like puts that circle in like a, like a center area. Then we could maybe form like a balcony in there or honestly, at the same time, because it's going to be kind of like cramped. I make like a fake balcony that I like never go up to. Like there's just no way up there. I, I do like fences, maybe put some stuff up there. I think that might be the way to go. Maybe like hay bales I was imagining, like note blocks do up there. That could look pretty cool. And yeah, it's like a balcony for storage. And it's our secret. All the time people will ask, hey, how does he actually get on that balcony? Is there a secret ladder? And yes, yes, of, of course there's a secret ladder. I can't tell you where the ladder is though. I think that's going to look pretty cool. Just realizing though that I should probably mix some of these other deep slate versions in here. Uh, or like the normal deep slate like that. Uh, make it look more interesting. Ah, yes, finally, finally, you've grown up. All right, so we have three cows in here now. I could take one out, but what I think I'm gonna do, and what I think would be most efficient, is just keep all the cows inside of there. Uh, keep breeding them, like, continually, over and over and over again until I have a bunch of cows. Then I slowly start, like, pulling the cows out of that area. Filling the cow crushers with the cows will probably be the last thing that we do today. I went and got some sand so I can put the glass ceiling in. I think I'm just gonna do plain glass, uh, match it to that. Same with the windows, just plain glass. It's time. It has finally happened. Cows, you've been so brave. You fought a long, brave war. You did some circling on the trapdoors to spin like crazy. But you've done it. You've finally done it. I put a makeshift- Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't do that. Where do you think you're going? Where are you going, kind sir? Uh, what do you have? Oh. You have that. Ah. Uh, wow. Meet my brand new neighbor. You get to live in that boat forever. 
All right, so I've made some changes to the build. Uh, we'll check about it in a second, though, because it's cow time right this way, cows. So what we're going to do here is try and get two cows, and every single cow crusher should be easy. Piece of cake. Offhand wheat. Hey, 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 children, come. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. All right, they were a little stuck, but there we go. Not a problem. Come right over here to this back one. There you go. In the hole with your brother into the work machine. Perfect. One machine down. Now, I've been actually thinking about this design for a little while. Maybe what we do is go ahead and, like, solid this up. Make it, like, a whole solid, like, thing. I think that might make it look pretty cool. So, I think we're gonna do that. Next in line, two more cows. Uh, no, 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 no. Too many cows. Too many cows. You don't, you don't eat right now. We'll go over here next. Uh, two in that hole. Perfect. And then, finally, this one right here. Watch this. So, that one goes in the hole. We feed that one. Uh, then we feed that one. It's gonna jump right in there. That's right, the biggest development in history. A huge thank you to my patron, Jilly Chick, for that one. Uh, that's amazing. Like, like that makes it so easy. You only have to get one in, and the other one will do it itself. It's simply a must. Every single time I'm going to do this now, I, I'm going to do that. As long as I'm doing it with, like, grown-up cows, like, this is amazing. Okay, so, oh, no. However, there is something that we should do on this side really quick, and that's going to be fences above every single spot right here. I guess we could have left that torch now that I think about it. We're going to put fences above every single cow farm over here. If you could stop, yep, thank you so much. Of course, the fences are going to help the cows stop jumping around too much. Keep them inside of their pens. So, check this out. We do it again. Here you go. Go inside of the pen. <laughs> Perfect. Another cow crusher finished. Fence above it. Here it is. The final cow crusher. Now the cows are starting to run out over here. I only have... Actually... <gasps> wow! This is quite interesting. Look at this. The two cows. The original ones. Of course I kept track. Of course. Uh, these are the two original ones. Oh, that worked out perfectly. It couldn't be any better. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. You can get up there. You can get up there. Oh, no. How did you do that? Huh? How did you do that? Well, it's fine. You can do it like that. You don't really get a choice, though. Into the pen. Okay, so all of the cow crushers are done. All that I have to do is continually breed the cows up inside of the crushers and get them filled up. Eventually, once there are like 24 cows inside of the thing, they'll be taken out due to entity cramming, which is pretty great. That's gonna be so much food. Now, the build. Uh, so I put a balcony in up there. You can kind of see it. I got crazy with the decorating. I think it looks pretty cool. Target blocks, hay bales, note blocks, chests, uh, you know, just like random stuff for decoration. Of course, we could get up there. Then I did fence gates down there for like a support on the balcony. Change it over to the tiles. Tiles is kind of like the accent block in here. I did this with the wall. I think it's nice. I'm, <laughs> I'm not too sure. I think it's a pretty nice improvement. Of course, dirt in the cow farm. I think that looks pretty cool. Food bins, of course, of course. The dripstone grew actually, so I was able to restore the two over there there are two things left to do today we have to decorate the outside of the build which is going to be pretty straightforward i'm imagining a path cutting right through here uh winding down through these trees and then ending up like over here somewhere we'll connect the sphinx up in other directions too if we have to but i think for now that's going to be pretty good so i'm going to do that and then i also have to go over and get a little bit more hay bales i want to have some hay bales piled around here have to harvest that buddy for sure <laughs> it's like long overdue I'm also going to keep breeding these things up inside of here, especially the sheep. I want to have way more sheep than what I have. Hey, what are you doing over there? Huh? I'm going to keep breeding those up, and then we'll put those other cows somewhere else. I don't know where. I could also eventually see another path wrapping around the back side of the Sphinx, connecting over to the other path that I'm about to put in. I'm not too sure. I guess it just kind of depends on where we end up putting more builds. All right, so the build. We have to finish everything up today. First things first. I've thought about it. I've realized it. What if... We do an auto smelter on the back wall, right? Right, right? Um, we might have to, like, move it. No, no, I think we could make it work. What if we did an auto smelter on the back wall, right? Now, this is going to cut down on the iron huge time. I have a total of 11 iron left, but auto smelter on the back wall. Maybe we set it on the floor like this, um, which means the output chest is going to be under the ground. That's fine. So check this out. Uh, for now, we have something that looks kind of like that. Going to need two more chests or barrels. Barrels are always a great option. They look good. And then maybe, and I don't know how this is going to work out, it just depends on what I can do with the build, but maybe, what if we were to say, have a fireplace sitting right in front of the auto smelter, so like, you can kind of see it, right? Uh, and then we'll do, we'll do something to make it like, look better, and then we have the chest just kind of like, peeking out from below, oh... We can't get it. Okay, okay. Not a problem. We just do a staircase. We can reach the chest perfectly now. I'll finish up the blocks around there, make it look like really good, like carry the floor down, stuff like that. Uh, then, uh, if we do it like this and we throw things in the auto smelter, it's gonna look really sweet. Like it's literally going to look like we're cooking food and in the fireplace here. If I can figure out how to make this thing blend in, uh, it's gonna be amazing. And if I can't, I'll just pull it out. 
So I'll mess with that thing. I'm definitely thinking like Deep Slate coming out, some kind of mantle ledge or something. Uh, I'll mess with it. I'll work on that a little bit more. Now, the other walls. One of the walls, I was imagining a gallery wall. I think we're going to do it on this wall. So that's going to be like big painting. Not that big, but like paintings all over the wall, kind of like strategically placed all over the wall, make it look cool. And then on the other one, this one right here, I was thinking maybe I would be able to create some kind of like lantern holding thing, uh, except lanterns. For now, we'll just do torches. And then eventually, instead of lanterns, we'll do candles. Uh, so I'll like maybe like deep slate walls and slabs or or pressure plates or, or something maybe just like three on the wall uh like going diagonally up or something i think that could look cool over here i think we're gonna leave the walls pretty much alone i might end up coming in here and doing this i think that might look a little bit better kind of curve it up uh yeah we're definitely gonna do that i'll do that over there too but yeah the walls over there are gonna stay pretty much left alone path is gonna be really easy to do too i just need a little bit of oak wood uh oak slabs for the steps up i think and yeah i think that's basically everything it's too late it's too late he's gone so the build is finished check this out now please please excuse my absence of bone meal i don't have the skeleton farm set up quite yet so i wasn't able to really like bone meal the ground decorate it no flowers definitely would come in here with like tulips or something red ones all that would look so good but check this out dramatic entrance then we start having hay bales all over the place something could be going on here uh i'm gonna leave this here for now by the way i'm just gonna let this drip and grow eventually hopefully if it actually does hey by the way today's comment of the day is that cow crusher trick amazing so yeah i think it's feeling pretty good in here definitely could use some flowers but uh please please excuse my absence of bone meal so anyways we have the building right here i think i'm gonna leave the fence gate for now initially i wasn't gonna uh but i think it would be nice i, I think the fence gate makes it a little bit safer so we'll leave it for now until i light it up and then inside oh man the inside so i have to finish it up still definitely wanted a fern pot right there but check out this sectional right here this is the coziest cow factory that you have ever seen in the world sectional right there with the fireplace added a second hopper it was expensive down to five iron now got the second hopper in there so everything's symmetrical i think it turned out pretty nicely like look at this i would totally you, you could totally catch me sitting down right here like just sitting absolutely vibing like taking in the view like i think it turned out nicely super simple too maybe we'll put another fern pot over here we have the cows over here that have been doing good i've been trying to breed them every once in a while and then the cows over here i haven't bred any of these cows quite yet this is what i'm gonna have to do to get this thing up and running i'm gonna have to come over here and breed the cows over and over again and get just like a ton of cows this farm works off of entity cramming uh there are a couple other episodes on cow crushers in the series so check them out uh this is just like it but it's bigger uh once we get like 24 or so cows inside of here uh then entity cramming will take care of the grown-up cows leave the baby cows the baby cows are grow up and yeah repeat the process all the drops go inside of these chests oh it's gonna be amazing i i'm really excited finally sweet berries finally we're not going to need you any longer after like one more episode i i have to breed the cows and then yeah i'm planning on cooking up like all of the food over here in the smoker probably i could move fuel into either one of the sides we have the top one hidden up there and then of course the output goes in the bottom on the walls, that's the lighting that I came up with. This is pretty simple, but I think it's nice. Uh, definitely candles on top of that eventually. Same with over there. And then the gallery wall. Look at it. It's beautiful. We have all of the best paintings in the world. All of them. It's perfect. Speaking of perfect, this is the perfect spot to end today's episode. I want to thank you all for watching. Yep, that's right. I did finally indeed harvest the weed farm. I think that definitely deserves a like if you haven't liked the video already. Subscribe too. New videos daily, meaning every single day of the week. That's been the case since fall 2018. It can't be stopped. It won't be stopped. GBFan1984, Divins, and 4 99 thank you all for the support. Appreciate you so much. Next time, we are adventuring. Goodbye, everybody.